This is the one with Zowie Tech's 4K HDMI encoder slash decoder. They call it the Zowie Box, and it is a fully featured little device, $130 on Amazon right now. And to be more specific, it not only encodes or decodes HDMI into NDI up to HX3, NDI HX, NDI HX2 or 3. It also is a video capture, recorder, live streamer, SRT, RTMP, RTSP. Send it to YouTube, to Facebook, console streaming for your Xbox or your PS4 or 5. Does it sound like there's a lot of potential with this one? Because I think maybe there is. A ton of features in this tiny little box, a little bit smaller than my Electjet 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Yet, there's a lot of features for this one. And we're going to look at some of those in its dashboard, but we're going to focus in on one of those. So, the display on the front of the box there is going to give you what you're encoding in in the IHX two three. It's going to tell you your video input. Right now, I'm sending in at 1080 60. It's going to tell me my NDI name for this box. So when I go to look for it on my network, I can find which one it is. And it's going to tell me the IP address with which I can log into its dashboard in a browser. There it is. For the Zowie box, mine is the 12223. Yours will be a different number when you order yours. However, it's going to give me on this front page of the dashboard IP address, all the pertinent information there about my Wi-Fi. It's going to tell me my camera information that's plugged into it. It's going to tell me what I'm going to be putting video out at if I loop it out of the HDMI port. A quick look at the setup sheet shows me that there are inputs and outputs all across this box. There's information being reported to me all the way around. If I look at the other side, I'm going to see a tally light. I don't have that enabled right now, but the tally light's going to show me when this, whatever is connected to this box, is actually active. And so the way this hits my live streaming setup is if I have well, a Sony Handycam, look at that right there, that has HDMI out, but obviously does not have NDI built into the device. It's going to allow me to register this camera on my network as an NDI input. So then I can find it with ProPresenter, OBS, Top Director, Mevo Multicam, if I have the Pro subscription. In my opinion, NDI is the best tool in my toolbox because it makes everything more versatile. It makes my cameras easy to get to. It lightens the load on my network's bandwidth. It makes sure I don't have to have wired connections, but I can have wired connections if I can get these wired into the network. So what I've done here is I have connected my Zowie box into my Slate AXT1800 mobile router. I've connected my camera with HDMI out into my Zowie box. Powered both of those up, both my Slate and my Zowie box, powered both of those up with that Elect Jack battery, and I have tested this to run for hours at a time. Now, one caveat about the Zowie box, there is a fan built in and it is not a silent fan. It's just a little bit of noise. Did you hear that? Well, you probably didn't. It's very quiet. However, if you're one of those that listens for every single pin drop, you may notice the fan running on the Zowie box. Just make sure that's far enough away from the camera you set up or don't use the microphone for that camera and you'll be A-OK. -okay. If you find videos like this enjoyable, would you mind smashing that like button? It's the best way I've found for YouTube to let me know to continue to make content just like this. The dashboard is going to show us camera information. It's going to give me PTZ control, and depending on what camera I have hooked into it, I have choices in which protocol to use. It gives me the address there because the camera tells it what it is. 
The tally light can be turned on or off. It's going to give me video input and encoding information, output information, and on-screen diagnostics. My audio, I can pull in from the HDMI input, or I can use the built-in line-in input on the other end of the box. My streaming information is going to let me stream to a local destination, RTSP, or to an internet destination. All I have to do is add in what I want to do there. I have the encoder side turned on on my Zalia box right now, not the decoder. So the decoder is grayed out. It lets me record to an SD card, which I do have in my Zowie box. I could turn this on so it could record to that destination. Let's go ahead and stop that. <laughs> I did not mean to turn it on, just meant to make it enabled. And then it lets me choose the quality of NDI, NDI HX, HX2, HX3, right there in front of you to allow me to stream with the least amount of overhead possible. It's going to give me a little bit of network information across the board here and the system itself. Now, there are other features that, as I mentioned, I won't have the time or even yet the expertise to go through, but you may notice the QR code on the bottom left-hand corner of the page there. That QR code allows you to log into your Zowie box via your smartphone. Scan that with your iPhone or your Android, and you can log into your Zowie box and control or change the controls however you see fit. When Zowie Tech reached out to me to see if I would test this little product, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. But I'm telling you right now, this is going in my regular streaming box because there's times I want to use a camera that doesn't have NDI built in, and I want to get it into an NDI input so I can stream as easily as possible. And this box makes it happen. We'll look forward pretty soon to looking at some of the other features included in the Zowie Box. There's no doubt the Zowie Box is a niche product. You may have cameras set up just like you like them, but most folks I know have one or two cameras that they really enjoyed using at some time in their live streaming life, and right now they're not using them because they can't connect to them with their setup. This makes it easier. It gets you closer to being, able to being able to use all of the cameras that you have. And the more shots you can get, I think we've proven, the better off our live streams are for those folks who are watching at home.